Well, so what we're going to do is look at this is simplifying our complex fractions. So we're going to go off all the knowledge that we've had about simplifying rational expressions and then also dividing rational expression in this case. Now, what we he see here is we have a rational expression being divided by an integer. All right, I'll actually use a different thing. So what we're going to do is, when dividing this, what we, what we want to do is kind of rewrite this as a fraction. So I'm going to rewrite the 3 as 3 over 1. Okay, So now you can see what, what it is is a rational expression divided by another rational expression. This one just has integers. So therefore, what we can do is we can rewrite this problem as being multiplied by the reciprocal. So what we're trying to do, the reason why, again, why we multiply by the reciprocal is if I want to get this fraction off the bottom and I only want to deal with one fraction, I'm going to have to multiply by the reciprocal. Now remember, to keep equivalent fractions, whenever I multiply in the denominator, I have to multiply in the numerator. So now what I have is a problem of 2 divided by x plus y times 1 third. Well, when we multiply fractions, we just multiply directly across. Therefore, I have 2 over 3 times x plus y. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you simplify your complex fraction. Thanks.